Okay, our next speaker is actually one of the organizers of this workshop, the person who put all the energy to make it happen. And she has recently graduated from this university and is on his way to Southampton, hopefully. So Dr. Ken will be speaking and uh, he's, he's done a lot of work on these exotic SU2 symmetry beams. And he's going to be speaking about how to create them and their properties and perhaps some links to classical examples. So, to you. Okay, thank you everyone. I am Dr. Shen from here. <laughs> but, uh, so, I will introduce some of my uh, our works recently in our lab and our cooperation with Andrew Fall School. Uh, and uh, my topic is the chemical let's use the structured art manipulation with quantum classical detection. Not so far, I want to first introduce briefly about our life. Our life uh, have a, recently have a new name, uh, the lab of the quantum control, our, our original name is the rest of the electronics. Uh, so uh, uh, we have a, a lot of uh, research interest. Uh, we do the body state with our favorite stores, and we also do this some application and uh, uh, machining that. So, uh, so that, uh, that's our line. That's our, so I, I will introduce some of our uh, research interest in instruction line. This is our new, this is our new life. That's just the us there. And, uh, and well, you are welcome to visit. I'm, I'm not in this picture because when, when this lab is operating, I was in Andrew Bobas' group. <laughs> so, and I, yeah, I will, uh, Okay, my colleague, I will give brief, a brief introduction of the structure line. Uh, this year is the 30 years anniversary of optical vortices. In 1989, optical vortices was proposed, and the first 10 years, uh, the, the main studies focused on the uh, basic theory and basic uh, physical phenomena like optical momentum, electrical charge, and uh, uh, rotating Doppler effect. And uh, recent, recent 20 year, uh, the second 10 years, many applications was proposed that uh, uh, the OEM can be used in quantum entanglement. And uh, with the structure capability, we can do some uh, particle manipulation, manip manipulation by optical treatment and uh, communication. In recent 10 years, optical bodies uh, was uh, going to nanoscale because uh, development of uh, material, metastatics. And that, that, that's, uh, uh, as can be seen, in the, because of the tunability, we, 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 have, we can build wavelength, wavelength tunability vortex beams, so we can use uh, wavelength mon multiplexing into communication, and we can uh, with wavelength tunability in, uh, in harmonics generation and uh, for some yeah, linear effect. And with the structure generated, we can control the spatial structure and we can do uh, optical prisons and, uh, and uh, machining. And we can machine some uh, structure using the uh, structure of the beam. And another direction I want to show is the entanglement. So uh, OEM is, uh, was used in quantum uh, entanglement and the benefit by the infinite uh, uh, the, uh, the degree of freedom of the high dimension, high dimensional state. And recently, uh, uh, the entanglement is not in, uh, not only in the quantum, quantum, uh, quantum concept, but, only, uh, but also used in classical life. So as you can see, our, our, our idea is to use a, a new material to develop, develop the tunability. This material is why we come. It's an amazing crystal because uh, this, this, this crystal has an amazing broad emission band. When we when we like this bonding method, we can not only generate a high order, uh, high order hermitian mode with uh, high pure, uh, purity, and uh, at the same time we can control the wavelengths and the wavelengths. So we can generate the wavelengths and uh, OEM to the tunable. Uh, beam, and uh, we can tune the OEM from zero to 
child to bring in this antibiotic and control. And at the same time, we can control the rhythms uh, across the 10 millimeters. Uh, uh, this uh, this distance was improved by and, uh, the wavelength to the minute is a kind of spectral to the uh, So we can, we, can, we can use this crystal to control uh, some interesting shape in the spectrum. Spectrum. Uh, when we control the bond power and all axis, all axis space at the same time, we can we can generate some not only the uh, uh, the wavelengths but also the bell wavelengths shape in the spectrum and and uh, build a very stable bell wavelengths vortex. This kind of vortex can be used in exploring some of the new the near effect, I think. And uh, this, this is a very common tunability. So wavelength tunability can be exist in every beam. But another, another, another uh, tunability is structure tunability. Structure tunability is only exists in structure line. So uh, my new idea is using uh, quantum coherent state to uh, build a new structure in structure line. Quantum coherent states, uh, quantum state, uh, very likely to a classical state. When the Hamiltonian is a linear oscillator, and, then, and, uh, and you can derive a, a coherent state, and uh, the actual uh, quantum wave packing can be coupled with the actual classical oscillator like this. And if we if we if we use uh, uh, if we uh, if we change the symmetry, it's not a linear oscillator, but uh, SU two symmetry. Is, uh, in, you can use a V algebra to uh, to uh, to derive a uh, derive a new new form of coherent state. Is the SU two uh, coherent state? Oh, what, 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 how to how to generate this state? And, uh, and you use another method. I, I'm, I'm not the one to using this in quantum uh, single photon. I, I want to uh, uh, transform this state into classical light. How to generate this light in, in a cavity? So, uh, so my method is uh, using frequency that generates cavity. See, in frequency that generates cavity, in the common uh, cavity, the uh, the mode is not uh, only it is including longitudinal mode and transverse mode, but in frequency and generate the cavity, the longitudinal mode and transverse mode can be coupled with each other. They has a they has a relationship, and, re, and uh, this relationship can be revealed by the uh, uh, frequency and generate spectrum. Okay, okay, we uh, adjust the cavity into different. Uh, frequency that generates state, the actual uh, the actual uh, the actual mode in the cavity can be uh, revealed by geometry uh, geom geometry optics in the is the bon bouncing bon bouncing ray like like, uh, like like this geometry mode, and this kind of mode can be uh, expressed by SU two uh, SU two coherent state. So this is this is the wave packing. So, so oh, this 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 we can this this we pattern pattern can be coupled with the uh, uh, with the geometry opinion. So, uh, so uh, this this model not only has wave like wave like pattern, but it, sometimes it can show uh, more geometry like pattern. So this property called ray wave duality. Remember this. So, uh, so the, the, the this series of uh, all the theories derived by the, uh, the same um, um, uh, one wavelength, with wavelength not 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 so broad. But, but if you uh, if your crystal has a very broad wavelength, you maybe you 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 know, mod modify this, this this equation using precise frequency that generates state. And I had a question here. Can and a we can we find a method to tuning the structure related to the uh, bond function. And this, this, this uh, like this uh, uh, period for geometry, we can tune in this uh, uh, this uh, orbit in W shape and the M shape by bonding control. And this shape is related to, to the coherent space and uh, similar to a lot of three orbit. And this. This planar uh, 
uh, geometric mode can be transferred into spatial uh, spatial mode with our target momentum and by uh, by changing the agent mode into logarithmic mode and uh, more general Hermit logarithmic mode into different uh, spatial geometric shape. And this is our experiment step up. The front end the front end is the uh, 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 captive is uh, adjusting to represent the general state. And then we use the experiment to generate and uh, control the vortex speed. And this is the a geometry picture showing the, uh, how to generate the uh, SU2 planner mode into vortex mode. Okay, uh, we can see the, in the uh, normal bigenerate state, and we can get some uh, periodic, periodic four, periodic three pattern, and uh, but in the center there are some preset bigenerate state, and. Uh, uh, the reason why I think is uh, uh, very broad, uh, very broad, uh, very broad band of white cargo. But we can see the previous result using NB validate. Uh, it's a very, uh, very narrow, sharp, sharp uh, peak in the uh, degeneracy. But using white cargo, it's a very broad. So, so you will get some uh, stable preset degeneracy state. Okay, this preset degeneracy state. It uh, has the very interesting result. The, the periodic four, periodic uh, uh, orbit can be connected to each other and generate some new, new, new pattern. The, the square shape and the triangle shape is the other polygonal shape. So this node has been named polygonal vortex. Okay. Uh, in the you know the polygonal uh, degenerate uh, vortex beam exists in the preset degenerate state. But from degeneracy to non degenerate state, you can show the periodic orbit uh, 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 change into the uh, conversion conventional donor shape, the Gaussian beam, and uh, and uh, this 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 vortex beam has all kind of momentum. So for the for common beam, you you cannot you cannot see the actual orthogonal momentum the moving of photon because of circular symmetry. But in this kind of polygonal vortex beam, you can directly observe the rotating the photon rotating way when the beam completes. It's a very interesting property. But I also want to uh, test the. Uh, the outcome of the use traditional methods and uh, 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 the interference pattern you can you can you can see the you can count the outcome of the and by using uh, the traditional method. But the but it's not so preset because it's not a conventional uh, conventional model beam because uh, it's it's not only it's not only has a center topological charge, the center singularity, there has many singularities in this beam. It's a multiple singularity distribution. But how to how to precisely uh, detect the uh, not only the topological charge of the but also the singularity uh, distribution. And we use uh, uh, the optical collapse just uh, uh, and, uh, and the professor from just uh, introduced that. <laughs> so let, let me see what was the, the result. We use a we use a triangle shape aperture to observe the far field far field uh, far field uh, optical axis. Uh, oh, if we put if we adjust the uh, aperture in the center, we will detect the center topological charge. And uh, the, this pattern is is a common pattern to detect the actual uh, topological charge by the, of the uh, conventional vibration beam. But if we adjust the actually to the partial uh, singularity, a new new kind of of singularity can be uh, observed, and you can count the number, one million, the whole million, and uh, you can uh, you can uh, arrive with the uh, partial topological charge. So the, uh, so this is a uh, new method to uh, to uh, detect the actual multiple similarity with topological charge. 
and and uh, and uh, and another uh, another idea is of how can we uh, observe many others of vortex galaxies, optical galaxies. Uh, we also use the derivation of SU2, SU2 theory. But in this here, we didn't we di we, we didn't make the coupling between the longitudinal mode and transverse mode. We did the coupling with the transverse mode and another transverse mode, uh, because they are two-dimensional. And uh, in, in, uh, index X and index Y is, uh, is revealed by the uh, two-dimensional spatial coordinate. And if these two co couple to each other, and you will, you will, you will, you will, uh, you will get a new form of coherent state. And, and uh, it's, it's not only the idiom mode can not only be hermitic mode, but also be unscoring mode with the uh, elliptical uh, coordinates, uh, separable in the elliptical coordinates. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is our result. We we use, we we not only control the offense displacement, we can also control the uh, beam size and beam shape or the bombing beam shape in, in this crystal, and and. Uh, more uh, more interesting structure like the general and uh, and, uh, they did, uh, and uh, they, this thing can be well uh, 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 well predicted predicted by our uh, simulation and and you can see uh, we can show the bonding size and the bonding shape we can we can get different different vortex axes in the uh, in this uh, in you know, our structure I from uh, from low order to higher order and uh, and some unstable uh, lattice and stable lattice and uh, we can we can simulate the whole process uh, through of the generation. Okay. Okay, I uh, I want uh, I want the next the next word I want to talk about uh, quantum, <laughs> quantum like uh, quantum like structure like so uh, it's another very interesting direction uh, a research interest uh, so I want to give a very brief uh, introduction of the uh, quantum entanglement uh, quantum entanglement means uh, uh, the two particles has a uh, non separable state if they did, if this a polarization state, we cannot sure what the state is. We can only sure uh, the relationship between the uh, these two particles. But if 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 if, if the state is is is, uh, is mirrored into uh, H state and another will be the base state at, at the same time. But but you cannot you cannot. Uh, uh, make sure the two stay at the same time. So this is nice separable uh, property. So a new idea is proposed in uh, 2015 by uh, Boyd. He says, and, uh, this, this is a quantum entanglement. So it's quantum entanglement is uh, its property of in quantum world. Classical uh, light need, need not apply. Really? Oh, no, he 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 apply, he proposed a new idea, classical entanglement, because in vector beam, it, the the spatial and the polarization cannot be separate. It's a non-separable uh, property. It's very like the uh, the quantum, quantum entanglement. So uh, so we only use the non-separable property. We can we can. Uh, I, I we, we think we can tell this both of vector in has a classical entanglement. So, uh, but but in quantum entanglement, but this, this is a very uh, very uh, uh, very advanced uh, work so did recently by and and Zilinger from uh, not only two two particle uh, entanglement but also. Uh, three particle, uh, four particle, and ten, ten particle. <laughs> so, so, and the, the, the two-dimensional Bell states is, is, uh, is uh, it's not enough to, for expressing the high-dimensional entanglement state, but but uh, the new state is called GHZ state. 
the G is the state. It's the high dimensional kind of state. So we, my, our idea is that can we use ICU2 symmetry to build, to introduce the uh, high dimensional entanglement into vortex beams? Oh, we have we have periodic orbit in our ICU2 beam. Uh, but we can we can make the polarization mod modulation and uh, notice the notice the state into uh, the GA in three three degree of freedom. But but this idea is wrong. Why? Why? Because it, this 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 modulation is separable. It is uh, this is random random for pure uh, of one random for of two random for of three. But it's it's still two dimensional. It, the entanglement means that it's non separable So we are fair. No? Let me see. Uh, uh, let's see the bell state is two dimensional bell entanglement state and then the two particles. But the high dimensional entanglement state is multiple particles, one, two, three. And three three degree of freedom entanglement state. The first photo, the first photo, second photo, third photo has entanglement, entangled polarization. My idea is change change the first state into the SU2 orbit, oscillating the possible direction and an or negative direction. And the second degree of freedom for the first orbit and the second orbit for periodic form of uh, SU2 state. Okay? So for the SU2 oscillating periodical four, periodic four, we will get a, a positive oscillating uh, plus state and the negative state, um, uh, minus state, and the first location, second location, we are have the, uh, and this this four state can be transferred into vortex beam with the orthogonal location. And and then we can use the uh, intensity modulation with the aperture. This aperture, uh, the, because the structure line, the aperture has, has different uh, effects uh, when the aperture is located in a different propagating distance. When the aperture is at this position, the minus, minus the radial range uh, position, this, uh, the, 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 this, uh, the plus one and minus one, Yes, plus one and then minus two will be brought. And then another two will be brought as I2. And then we use SIR, SIM to make a, a polarization modulation, uh, polarization modulation, and we can get a orthogonal state, the fourth orthogonal state. And we can get the four vector B. Okay? This is not SU2B because this is uh, this SU2B has been intensity modulated and polarization modulated. This is also not a uh, SU2 vector beam because the intensity is not, is not, uh, not, 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 not fulfilled the uh, SU2 symmetry. We can see it's the SU2 line vector beam. This two, this two, uh, this, this four SU2 beam has our solid state because the uh, uh, diagonal pattern, anti diagonal diagonal pattern, and a diagonal polarization and anti diagonal uh, diagonal uh, polarization and a combination we can we can get the four state. But it's experimental result and simulation result. Uh, this is uh, common for this is for uh, vector beams uh, for different vector beams. But this is two dimensional <laughs> into the this is for the for vector beam. How to gen generate the three, three dimensional? Because we have we have uh, uh, we have another method. If we if we if we project the uh, GHC state into uh, project the third third state third degree of freedom polarization into uh, uh, from diagonal state into a uh, horizontal vertical state and and. The, the 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 interference the coherence will be productive. Like this. This is the uh, plus one, uh, uh, plus one and minus two. 
this, uh, if, if we project the uh, polarization into uh, horizontal or vertical uh, polarization, different, uh, the orthogonal state of the, the bell state will be revealed. And the, diff, the, by the orthogonal bell state is revealed by the uh, different uh, interference frequency. You can see the one to zero five, one to zero five, one to zero five, one to zero five. Okay. So the bell state after the projection can be revealed by the actual uh, interference of the neighbor to a bulb in SU203. And uh, this is another, uh, as the others, uh, orthogonal state. So we get uh, a complete eight dimensional entanglement. So, uh, uh, so it's another, uh, it's a, a, maybe this experiment is not big because, uh, because uh, 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 it's our idea, new idea. So how to generate more higher dimension, dimensional dimensional thing? We can we can uh, involve the outcome element because we can generate a, a, a positive positive optical momentum vectorby and negative optical momentum vectorby and uh, superpose them together and uh, they, if we can tomography this this is this for degree of freedom. This this new kind of vector beam can be expressed in maybe uh, the the six, uh, sixteen dimension careful space. And we can if we can control a uh, more orbit in the future, we can uh, we can, can control a more higher uh, more higher dimension in the S D two vector beam. Another idea, how, how can we find more degree of freedom? Yes, we can. Uh, the SU2 oscillating is not, not only the uh, our peer of the oscillating, but also the shape related to the coherent phase. The phase here or phase type. Can we superpose these two together? I think the answer is yes. If we, if we, uh, if we present the control the bond beam and uh, overlap the uh, orbit with the uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, five zero orbit, that five five pi orbit and share sharing the same same bonding bonding point, the the entanglement with uh, the the, uh, the the shape and the uh, 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 SU2 state can be generated. This our experiment result. We can generate uh, like the uh, I W I state and the V V V shape shape the five zero five pi of together and generate a uh, bell state. Okay, that's the uh, uh, vector beam result. This, the, the inner orbit is, uh, uh, it can be a uh, circular polarization and the outer, outer orbit can be a uh, linear, linear polarization and combine, combine with these things together, you can get different kind of uh, new structure vector beam and you can find different kind of bell space in it. And you can also change, you can adjust the, uh, the our theorem, theorem as you do oscillate. You can get the uh, star shape and uh, the five star shape, six star shape, and, uh, and different kind of combination of polarization and orbit in, the, in this kind of uh, vector B. And you, maybe you can get some uh, normal and high common state. Okay, and can we find more degree of freedom? So this idea is proposed uh, by Professor Berger in Southampton. Uh, in uh, this group published the science paper, it was in, in 2010. Uh, it, it, it produced a very exotic uh, tri tri uh, trivial pulse. This pulse has a 10 energy non separability in different time have different energy. So maybe if we can generate the cost as you do vector vertical beam, maybe we will have we will control more degree of freedom and uh, toward high dimension of classical entanglement. So as maybe a conclusion, we use a new material by the to uh, to improve the uh, uh, spectral geometry in 
the structure beam. And then we, we use a passive to state in structure beam to make, make structure to enable uh, the structure beam. And the, the, our new SU2 structure beam has a uh, high potential to realize high dimensional classical entanglement. Thanks for your attention. Uh, I, want, I would like to thank the Professor Dong, Professor Liu, Professor Gu in our lab for uh, uh, the help of Scottish Theater and uh, Professor Andrew Forbes and uh, Andrew Forbes group for the help of quantum mechanics and uh, uh, the, the Daryl, Professor Dr. Daryl, the CS on the CSIR for the help of GSA State to Sun and uh, uh, Dr. Wang and Dr. Uh, Yang in BIT and Yuan uh, Dr. Uh, Yuan Meng in MIT with the help of simulation. Uh, okay, thanks for your attention. Great, we have time for a couple of quick questions. I, I was know this when I was in Andrew's group. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't propose it, so the reason I put the question off is because they don't agree with the term. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But, but yes, uh, other speakers agree with this concept. Uh, uh, and, uh, the I, issue. I think it was first suggested by Robert Spru in 1998. <laughs> Uh, or, or called it now separable states, or it was good, yeah, yes. Well, yeah, we just, we just wrote a progress optic. I think it will be a classical time at this point. You see it everywhere. <laughs> if, if this property can be used into some application, I think it's meaningful. Any other questions for this week? Or we can discuss this afterwards. <laughs> no, then I think we can get our story. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.